Hi, I'm Tim Brown for Via Technologies, and today I'm talking to Richard Brown, Vice President of Marketing at Via, and he's talking to me a little bit today about some of the innovations in the x86 market that he thinks will come out in 2009. What do you think is going to happen in 2009 that we haven't seen before out on the market that might be interesting for people who are just who are kind of the enthusiasts who like to follow our x86 market? I actually think that 2009 is going to be an extremely interesting year for the industry. A lot of trends over the last few years are now starting to come together. If you look, you've seen in 2008, you've seen the explosion in the netbook market that actually many people in the industry didn't expect. And that's really grown much faster than people uh, had, had thought would happen. At the same time, you've got trends like wireless broadband, which are finally happening, 3G, faster wireless connections throughout the world. You've also got cloud computing. More and more applications and services um, being delivered um, from the web. And certainly when you look at the younger generation of users, in a sense they're not really PC users at all. What they are, they're basically taking most of their information and most of their applications straight from the cloud. So I think next year there's going to be this confluence of different trends all coming together into different types of new, new devices. One area, I think, if we look at phones, this year you've seen smartphones such as the, the G phone uh, and also the iPhone gain popularity, and you can see more and more of that. And those smartphones ultimately are going to require higher and higher levels of performance. So I confidently believe you'll start to see x86 smartphones in the market next year. Same time, if you look at um, the notebook, last year we saw strong growth in netbooks, but I think this year, where it's going to be very interesting, is um, with the 12 to 13.3 inch form factor. Now, there's a lot of industry debate over is this a netbook, is this a notebook, and I think it's kind of irrelevant. I think for a lot of mobile users, what they want is a light device with great battery life that delivers great multimedia, um, all in a form factor with a large enough screen to do the work that they need to do and to view the media that they want to watch. And that really is where I think um, the action is going to be in the notebook space. And I think that Via is going to play a big role on that. I think also on the desktop, um, obviously now the notebook market is growing much faster. But at the same time, there will be some interesting things happening on the desktop. I personally think that in 2009, you're going to start seeing a lot more what I call cloud-attached devices. These can range anything from a thin client um, to something like, say, for example, a very intelligent digital alarm clock or an intelligent digital photo frame. And more and more, the content that up to now has been basically delivered through a PC, um, to a t through a PC and a, a TV, will, will be delivered through multiple different devices throughout the home. Um, there's been some developments in that in the last couple of years, but really I think in 2009, that's when that market will take off.